The next reading assignment from the F-18A Technology Reference Manual is the first of the several tables pertinent to the instruction set. We're going to talk about the instruction set in terms of opcodes and what they do. We'll worry about the encoding of the instructions and the representation in memory later. The first page is talking about garden variety arithmetic logic and register manipulation instructions. We're going to skip the multiply step because it has a lot more meat to it and look at the rest of the basic opcodes with which the majority of your code will be concerned other than memory operations and jumping. We have three binary operators, plus which is a plain old 18-bit twos complement add, and which is a logical bitwise and, and or which is an exclusive bitwise or operator. Unary operators are a multiply by two, which is a logical left shift, a divide by two, which is an arithmetic right shift, and a unary bitwise inversion, um, one's complement. This is not a true negative value. It is off by one from a two's complement negative value. Uh, if you recall how two's complement arithmetic works, to form a negative number, you invert all the bits, and then you add one. If you bear this in mind, quite often you can get away with doing the simple, much faster uh, inversion and use that as a negative number. And remember, as you're designing the code, that you're carrying a bias of one around in the answer. And sometimes you can arrange for those biases to cancel each other so you don't have to spend the time required to let the carries propagate to actually do a, a two's complement negation. It's good to remember. Saves energy, saves time. Stack operations, uh, dupe, drop, and over. These are familiar to anybody that does fourth coding. Dupe takes T and copies it into S. S is pushed onto the stack. Drop destroys T, replaces it with what was in S, and pops the stack into S. Over pushes S onto the stack, pushes T into S, and puts into T a copy of what had previously been in S. Classical operations. One thing that you'll notice as a fourth programmer would be missing there is swap. Swap is absent for good reason. The data paths required to implement swap are terribly complicating, and the cost in time of implementing that operator is very significant and measurable. It would slow everything else down. Again, Chuck was very ruthless in minimizing the instruction set in the F18A. These things which are glaringly absent, are glaringly absent for good reason. In addition, as you'll see when we look at the way the instruction opcodes are packed together, there's good reason for keeping the number of operators down to a dead minimum as well. Push and pop are operations that involve, as we mentioned in um, uh, lecture elements for the last section, involve both stacks. Push basically removes an item from the data stack and pushes it onto the return stack. Pop removes an item from the return stack and pushes it onto the data stack. Generally speaking, the sorts of things that you would be using swap for are things that you can achieve also by interstack operations and register operations involving egg. <coughs> the operations for dealing with A and B registers are these down here. A reads the A register, pushing it onto the data stack so that the part of value of A is in T copied into T. A store and B store both store the contents of T into the registers A or B and pop the stack. Now, a store into B is only going to store the low order N bits of T into B. The rest of them just vanish. Finally, there is a no-op, represented as dot, uh, which takes about 1.4 nanoseconds to execute and which is inserted automatically by the compiler where necessary to get to the next word boundary, as we'll see when we start discussing the storage of instructions. These are the fundamental operations, these 15.